Hello and welcome. My name is Ginger. I am the creator of Otana and I'm so glad that you're joining me. This is my first video pattern tutorial. And if you don't know what I mean, I'm going to tell you all about it. I have taken my step-by-step -step instructional system that is designed to help beginners, intermediate and advanced level daughters, D-O-T-T-E-R-S, work step-by-step -step through a particular project to replicate it. So what I've done is I've taken all of the instructions and I've created in a video format. This is the video. All you need to do is watch from start to finish, follow the instructions, and you will be able to recreate this particular dot mandala. The project today is intermediate level. So if you're a beginner, this one isn't the best to start out with. This is a good one if you've been dotting for a little while. Now, this is my first video pattern. I really wanna know how it works for you. If you could drop me a comment, that would be fantastic. If you're interested in getting more videos like this one that helps you on your dot mandala journey, hit the subscribe button. Let's get started on the project. Okay, so let's go over what you're going to need for this project. First, let's talk about paints. I have here all of the colors that you're going to need. Don't worry so much about getting exactly what you see on your screen because things kind of change as I make this video and then you're watching it on whatever device. Just work on getting a close approximation of the colors and you're going to be fantastically set up. If there's a couple shades, just make sure there's a difference between the two shades, such as the light orange and the orange. That's all you need to do. Now let's talk about the dotting tools you're going to need. In the system I've developed, there are two sets of tools I refer to, the set of seven and the set of eight. For this project, you're going to need what I call the set of eight dotting tools. If you do not already have them, Pop on over to otana.com and you'll find a free guide that will outline for you what size they are. You can assemble them and then keep them on hand to use with other Otana projects. And now let's talk about what you're going to dot on. So you're going to need a surface that is at least four inches. I don't want you doing all of this work and then running out of space. I have used a rock that I have painted black. I highly recommend that you paint the surface you're working on black or use a surface that already comes that color. Make sure it's the right size, nice and smooth, mark your middle and away we go. The first step is to take tool one and some of the peacock blue and make the center dot of the mandala. Okay, I'm realizing my rock is having a little trouble. It needs something to prop it up. This particular mandala is what I call an eight point structure. So I am setting up here the eight dots that are going to guide the rest of the entire evolution of this design. Okay, I'm already off to a little wonky start here. Got some of that paint on my finger and I've smudged it on the rock. I'll get some black paint here in a moment and essentially erase that. All right, whew, that's much better. Now, as we get into things here, I am going to not be speaking at every single step. You have, however, all of the details that you need. There's three key pieces that you will need to pay attention to at every step. One is what tool size to use. Second is what color to use. And then you are looking at my demonstration in the video as to where to place the dots. As you know, all three pieces, you can go ahead and start to paint that step. If you ever get behind what I'm doing, no problem, just pause what I'm doing.
You're going to see me do here what I call the special taper. As I developed my step-by-step -step system, a number of vocabulary words were required to help communicate what's going on. You're going to see me do it here, step-by-step, -step, but you can also go over to autana.com vocabulary and you're going to find all of my vocabulary with examples and definitions.
All right, you're going to notice something here. So I had painted a little light yellow dot in the place where I'm putting these peacock blue dots and I didn't like it. So I'm creating this video just as I'm creating the mandala. And sometimes I make a choice and I don't like it. And this is one of those times. So I'm just painting right over it. You can ignore those little yellow dots. You didn't need them. In this step, I'm going to taper all the way around the peacock blue dot. You may need to play around with how much paint you need on the tool. You may need to dip in one extra time or two extra times just to make it all the way around the peacock blue dot. As you come to the end of this step, you're actually coming to the end of what I call layer one. All of the bottom layer of dots are applied and you're going to need your piece dry to go to the next stage. Now you can let it just air dry as I do, or you can use a hair dryer to force it along. Either way, make sure your dots are nice and dry before you move along to the next step.
This is the last step in layer two, and we're going to move on to layer three. Now, ideally, you actually have layer two dry before you go on to layer three, but I'm going to be a little sneaky here. You're going to see me put on my layer three dots very delicately while my paint is still wet. Wow, you have dotted all the way through this intermediate dot mandala. That is so awesome. I would love to see how you made out. You can share what you've done over on Otana's social handles on Facebook or Instagram. And you can also use the hashtag Otana to let me know how you made out. Use the comments here to share your thoughts as well. What part of this process works really effectively are there any things I need to do to tweak it to make it even better for the next experience? Thanks so much for dotting along.